far north of New Zealand, there is found one of the rarest and most threatened aquatic habitats in the world, the dune lakes. These beautiful and unique water bodies are rare natural phenomena that only occur in a handful of locations around the globe, including Madagascar, parts of Queensland, Florida, parts of Europe, Tasmania and in New Zealand, especially the Northland region. The dune lakes are a geological oddity, sculpted by strong sea winds blowing across the coastal sand dunes and scouring out hollows that, over time, fill with fresh water and are then colonised by an extraordinary assemblage of plant and animal life. Generally, these lakes are small, shallow and close to the coast. They are usually less than 10 metres deep and under 5 hectares in area. But amongst the hidden gems of New Zealand's lakes in Northland is one of the largest and deepest dune lakes in the world, Lake Taharoa, at 197 hectares and 37 metres deep. Being formed on sand and either rainwater or spring-fed, Dune lakes are often remarkably clear and stunningly beautiful. The exception to this are those dune lakes associated with peat wetlands, which are naturally tannin stained. On a geological timescale, dune lakes are comparatively young, generally less than 6,000 years old. However, further inland, some of Northland's dune lakes, like Lake Taharoa, are as much as 50,000 years old and over time have become home to unique communities of plant and animal life, including rare and endemic species found nowhere else on the planet. As dune lakes occur in only a few places around the world and in the very places people like to live and play, they are extremely vulnerable to outside pressures and are easily degraded. But New Zealand's Northland region has more than 400 permanent and mostly healthy dune lakes of various sizes, more than most other places on the planet. Northland's dune lakes are often surrounded by wetlands, the thick vegetation providing shelter, food and breeding habitat for water birds such as kingfisher, bittern, brown teal, little grebe, scorp, shoveler, mallards and grey duck, and sometimes little shags and pukeko. Around the edges of the lakes there are often broad reed beds, and where the lake shore is steep, these form overhanging caverns and banks where eels lurk during the day. The filtered light and narrow tunnels of the reeds fringing these lakes also offer good cover for other native fish species such as bullies and inunga. The aquatic plant life of the Northland Dune Lakes is truly unique and varies from lake to lake depending on water chemistry and clarity. It is this water clarity which determines how far down light travels and therefore the bottom limit for plant life in each lake. Some of the most pristine of Northland's dune lakes are incredibly clear and in Lake Taharoa the plants grow as deep as 24 metres, the deepest known freshwater plants in New Zealand's North Island. Vegetation in dune lakes begins in the well-lit, sandy margins with low-growing amphibious turf species and small shallow water species. One such tiny plant, called Trithuria, is amongst the oldest and most primitive flowering plants on the planet, but sadly it is now nationally endangered. Another rare and critically endangered dune lake plant is the native bladderwort a small carnivorous water plant that captures tiny water fleas in its many bladders by means of a sophisticated system of vacuum-powered trapdoors. At its current rate of decline, this incredible plant is likely to become extinct in New Zealand in the near future. 
Beyond the reed beds, there is usually a zone of taller plants, such as milfoils and pondweeds, which extend up through the lower growing beds of algal species known as caraphytes. These delicate green plants may form vast beds known as the Caracian meadows, often marked by the tracks of eels and small feeding pits left by kahawai or freshwater crayfish. Because of worsening water quality in many lakes around the world though, these luxuriant green Caracian meadows are in steady decline and are now considered a threatened ecosystem, both in New Zealand and globally. Making this beautiful green world their home is a wealth of unique fish life. Shoals of native fish from the Galaxid family dart through the water column, including Enunga, Dwarf Enunga, Kokopu, and in a few lakes, the rare Dune Lake Galaxis. Several different species of freshwater bully hover over the bottom, and of course, long for Neels, the Dune Lake's apex predator. On a smaller scale, tiny freshwater crabs and their larger relatives, the freshwater crayfish, live in the lakes, as well as water beetles, back swimmers, and water boatmen dragonfly larvae, native leeches, and filter feeders like the freshwater mussel, or torawai, an important species for maintaining lake clarity and health. Many of these species are endemic to New Zealand, which means they are found nowhere else in the world, and a few species, of both animal and plant, are even endemic to these Northland dune lakes. Northland dune lakes are the only place in the world where populations of dune lake galaxis occur, a kind of landlocked enunga. Unfortunately, despite the high ecological value of the coastal dune lakes provided by this rare aquatic community, their future is not secure. Many of the lakes are still in good condition, but others are already quite heavily degraded and the overall trend is one of deterioration of these amazing habitats. To lose any of these natural wonders to the side effects of development, farming, overuse, or through unawareness of their fragility, would be to lose an extraordinary and irreplaceable ecosystem that is already rare around the world. Mm -hmm.